Hello, chip tuning specialists, electronic technicians and fans. Welcome to the second video in our Petrolio software series. Today I will explain how to use the software for DTC or Diagnostic Trouble Cold Removal. Let's get started. First, plug your USB dongle into any available USB port on your PC. Open the software and be patient until it is fully loaded. After a moment, the ECU list will be populated. Click the Open button and select your original ECU file. For this demonstration, we'll be using a Mercedes with EDC16 CP41. Next, choose the correct ECU system. There are a few options for this. One way is to go to the lower left corner of the software, where you will find two icons. The left one, often referred to as the hamburger menu, displays all available ECU types. You can type partial system names such as CP41 and all brands with this type of fuel system like Chrysler, Jeep and Mercedes will be visible. Select any Mercedes option that has the DTC logo regardless of whether it says EGR, SWIR or DPF. Any option with this DTC logo will work. When you click on one of these options, the engine check logo will appear in the lower center of the software panel. This is the DTC function. Click on it and in the field write the DTC code you want to remove. For example, P0100 and then press delete. If the DTC screen goes away, don't worry, just press again on the engine check icon. As you can see, the software will find and remove the specified code. In this window, you have total faults found, also faults that require action, or in other words, removed codes, and also faults that do not require action. Close this window, go to File, then Save As. The software will give the file a name and the removed fault codes will be written in the file name as well. If you need to remove more than one DTC, you can write all of them separated by commas, for example, P0100, P0102, P0103 and so on. Press delete and all of them will be removed. Save the modified file in the location of your choice. While we are speaking of this DTC window, let me give you a, a bit more info about it. When you have some already written P codes and you want to write new ones, the easiest way is to press on this rubber icon. This way, the window is clear and ready to have new codes. On the left side, there are two other icons, one that looks like a folder and another one that looks like a disk save icon. This disk save icon is to help you when you often use many codes. Let me give you an example. For EGR, the codes that often must be deleted are between P0400 and P0409. You can write all those codes once and save them as an EGR pattern or a preset. Later, when you need to remove all of those same fault codes, you can simply press on the folder icon and just select the EGR pattern or a preset. All codes will be populated and you can press just the delete button. This way, you save a lot of time writing the same codes over and over again. Now, let me show you the second option for using the DTC function, which happens to be my favorite. Instead of choosing the hamburger menu, click on the four square icon. This option displays all brands. Please note that Volkswagen, Seat, Skoda and Audi are in the VAG group, while Fiat, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep and Alfa Romeo are in the FCA group. While in the software there are separated icons for Jeep and Chrysler, they do basically the same thing as the FCA group, so you can try both of them if you prefer that. Select the square icon, choose your brand, in our case Mercedes, and open the file. Scroll until you find your fuel system, such as Bosch EDC16 CP41. Again, choose any option from this fuel system that has the DTC logo. When you press on one of them, you will see another icon that looks like an engine check light. This is the DTC module. Click on the icon and a new window will open. Write the fault code you want to remove, for example, P0100, and press delete. The software will find and remove the specified codes. If for some reason this window is closed automatically, just press again the engine check icon. It will open to can see the removal information. Close this window, go to file, then save as. The file name will contain the removed fault numbers as well. Multiple DTC removal option here works the same way, by just separating the codes with a comma. There you have it friends, my short video tutorial on how to use the DTC removal function of Petrolio software. 
I'm Nikolai and in the next video I will demonstrate for you how to use the DPF removal function. If you are interested in buying this software, visit www.mtx-electronics.com where you can find more information about this great program. My website is also in the video description below. So if you need help with AdBlue, DPF, EGR or Swirl Flaps, feel free to contact me for support. Take care and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.